I think it's been hard. And a learning experience. Training myself to think how someone else thinks is probably one of the hardest tasks I've ever done in my life. Well, the process of raising you, honestly, was difficult because I never had a kid before you. Right. And then, so obviously I didn't know what it was to, you know, raise another human being, let alone provide for that human being, be there for that other person and all that stuff. I never had to do any of that. It was just, when I found out you had Asperger's, I felt sad and I felt like I had done you wrong because all the times that me and you used to bump heads were because honestly, your mother and I were raised differently. It's hard for parents, you know, especially growing up in a, in a household like I did, do as I say, not as I do, hit first, ask questions later, or maybe don't ask questions at all, you know? Like, I had to understand why you, didn't want to do certain things, wouldn't respond the first time around, um, had tantrum attacks. See, now it's different. I know you have Asperger's. So when you when I tell you something and you follow up with a bunch of questions, I have to remind myself, he has Asperger's. This is how it is. The fact that I've grown over the years, obviously this is a, as much of a problem anymore as say like three years ago right there was something wrong because you weren't speaking like you couldn't say you wouldn't say a word um, the only way you would communicate is by pointing and if nobody understood what you were pointing at or what you really wanted you would get really angry and so yeah over the years i've changed a lot to sum it up now I don't really get angry over the things I did before, you know, people not understanding me. Now I'm just sort of indifferent to it. Well, you're definitely more changed. social now than you were when you were younger. Because when you were younger, like we tried to throw you parties, like we do symphony, and we try to have people over and you were just not with it. Right. And now you take pictures, you actually enjoy hanging out with people before you were so secluded to yourself, it was just like, and you know, we would get questions. Your mom and I, people would be like, but why isn't Jaden coming out? We explained to them, this is his, this is how he is. When he feels like he wants to talk to you, he'll come out and talk to you. But once he gets to know you, it's hard to get him to shut up. Because if you show interest in what he's interested in, then he'll talk to you, talk your ears off. But if it doesn't interest him, he's not gonna pay no mind to it. Me personally, I have trouble empathizing with a lot of people uh, because I sort of just look at them as over-emotional on things that they shouldn't be emotional about. And then others probably look at me and say that I get emotional over things that most people wouldn't get emotional over. And I wish that people understood me because, you know, humans are very social creatures and, you know, when you're dealing, when you're human and you're, you know, dealing with uh, feeling lonely, even when you're in groups for a long time, it could lead to depression and it has led to depression for me. But, you know, over time, that depression sort of just, I grew out of it and instead it turned into indifference. We just took you to therapy sessions and we just hoped that those sessions would help you cope and see things differently. But to be honest, I feel a lot of, a lot of the change that's in you and how you overcome is with your own mental strength. Uh, but I do diagnose autism spectrum disorder, which Asperger's syndrome would fall under, under the new clinical criteria. Um, so my understanding is that it uh, is a uh, disorder that would fall traditionally within the autism spectrum, where uh, we're looking at 
potential differences in approaches to social communication, potentially some um, restricted and repetitive behaviors. But traditionally, individuals given that diagnosis of Asperger's syndrome tend to be um, what laymen might refer to as like higher functioning um, or have some of those less kind of intense restricted and repetitive behaviors, but more of those kind of nuanced social communication difficulties. Uh, sort of like misunderstanding social cues. Uh, very, very common. So the thing about me is that I really like to walk around a lot. The reason why I like to walk around a lot is because walking is sort of like, uh, it helps me uh, collect my thoughts together. So it's sort of like a weird thing like that. So you could say that I'm a very eccentric person. But I am capable of empathizing over like universal things, you know. Um, even though I don't really have a good way of showing it, because usually, you know, I'm a very vibrant person, uh, very, very emotional. Uh, I'm, I have my ups and downs, my highs and lows. But there are times where, uh, you know, I, I, I fluctuate. So. Either you get that side of me, or you get the side where uh, I'm just completely just solemn. But, uh, you know, I've been working at it over the years. Um, and yeah, having Asperger's, you know, uh, especially at this point in my life, it's gotten to the point where I don't really have any friends. You know, the way I like to live my life is say, um, change the things you can, deal with the things you can, and make the best out of the situation. So right now what I'm doing is that I'm appreciating that I do have Asperger's because Asperger's is actually really cool. Uh, having Asperger's, I really am good at it at, you know, coming up with things, imagining things. I'm very independent because I have Asperger's. So Asperger's does have its ups, but it also has its downs. Just like being neurotypical has its ups and downs. You know, it's uh, almost like a different kind of, you know, life. It's still a life, but it's a different kind of life. And if you really think about it that way, I'm just a normal person. <laughs> That's really what it comes down to. I'm literally just a normal person. If you liked this video, make sure to hit like, comment, and subscribe to keep up to date with all of our RealWorks YouTube videos. And don't forget to watch the films of the next generation of filmmakers.